And welcome to another episode of my photography vlog and today you join me on the coast of Cork a place called Nohoval it's called Nohoval Cove and um, as you would have seen from the intro there I've climbed right up to the top of the um, uh, the cliff so that I can get a viewpoint right down onto these uh, three maybe four stacks that are um, below me and um, the Sun is setting just over here to my right so right behind me here and because of the situation, because it's a cove, it is down low, I will get no light on the um, stacks that are here in front of me. But what I am hoping for is that this sky that you see here um, should hopefully come to light. I have no real um, uh, theme of my vlog today. It was really lastminute.com decided to get out because I looked at the weather forecast and it didn't seem as if it was going to do anything nice. But then as it got closer and closer, uh, it was promising. There is a gap right now, but below that there is a bank, but I'm saying that I'm looking at the clouds here. They are getting a nice bit of light already. We're around 45 minutes until uh, sunset. So um, I'm going to get cracking on here. I'm going to get a couple of uh, test shots. And then what I'll do is I'll talk you through the settings that I'm using and why I'm using them to take the particular shot in regards to here. Okay, so, um, Giving you a quick look at the back of the camera here at the image that I've got uh, composed below me. So um, as you can see, uh, looking at the screen here, so I'm using the rule of thirds how to compose my shot. So I've got one of the stacks that's here right on the crossing of the bottom uh, third and the right hand third. The other stack that's here uh, is on the left hand side. The horizon is along the top then as well of the, um, uh, the other rule of thirds. And as you can see, I'm starting to get a nice bit of color as well there now that's starting to appear from the, uh, the sun that's setting down. The um, equipment that I'm using at the moment is I have my 16 to 35 um, and I'm shooting at 16 millimeters to give me a wide uh, viewpoint. I'm using my Lee 0.9 um, graduated filter. And the reason I'm doing that is because as I said a moment ago here, the, uh, the foreground area, so down here in the shot is quite dark, whereas the light then is gonna be on the top of the uh, frame so if I didn't have the graduated filter what would end up happening is the sky would be blown uh, and then the, um, the image would be ruined so there'd be no purpose or no point in having the image there itself so the point nine allows me to be able to control that light and allow me to give enough exposure as well to be able to get enough um, brightness on the stacks that are there below me and what I'll do now is I will show you um, an image which I'll press record on the uh, main camera here and I'll move the graduated filter and you'll see the effect that that has in controlling the light on the sky. Okay, so what you're looking at here now is the image on the back of the camera and there is no uh, filter in place. And looking at the, uh, the scene right there, you wouldn't see much of a, a, a need, I suppose, to control the sky looking at it as right now. But as I bring down and introduce the graduated filter, you'll see that the sky is getting darker. So the uh, graduated filter is actually controlling the light here. Um, so now it's not darkening the foreground, it's actually controlling the light above. So it gives much more balanced image. And 
where that can be really, really effective is uh, on many occasions when the light and the contrast is too bright for the sky and the foreground, like right now, is too dark. So just a simple example, you can see the image that I'm um, uh, composing there. On video, it kind of goes a 16.9, so I'm missing a bit of top and the bottom of the frame, but it'll give you an indication of uh, the type of shot that I'm going for right now. Okay, um, I do seem to be getting a nice bit of light here now as well. There's a uh, last bit of light just coming uh, behind me on the um, western side. And uh, the clouds above here, there is gaining a bit of light on that. Uh, so what I might end up doing now is change my composition slightly um, so that I can get more of that sky because the colour is actually higher than um, what I'm getting in the uh, landscape orientation. So I'm going to uh, swap that down. And by swapping it down here, uh, actually, I've got two options here. I can swap it down like this, or I can um, disconnect the head and use the uh, L bracket. But for now, I'm just going to drop it down just for ease of use. And um, what that's going to allow me to do is get the uh, image composed in a totally different way. I must remember to change the positioning of my um, grad. And now I have more of the sky being visible. And I'm using, uh, again, Similar um, composition rules that I would have said earlier on using the rule of thirds, but there's a beautiful sky there now um, and it's coming out quite nice. It's uh, f11, um, going to give me the right depth of uh, focus within the shot and I'm focusing as I always would uh, a third into the scene and right below me as well here, I may have seen it a moment ago on the um, uh, drone footage but you can see there's a bit of an arch in one of these stacks that are below me as well um, so that again is also giving a, uh, a nice uh, a nice viewpoint into the shot as well itself so I'm um, going to take a couple of more shots here uh, the light is going to go behind that bank of clouds but I do think that these lights these clouds up here are going to light up so uh, again I'll crack on here and get a couple of more uh, shots and um, I'll check back in again in a moment Okay, I'm going to change it up here now as well. I'm going to go for a pretty long exposure and try, I'm going to try and get to 30 seconds. So um, within that uh, environment, what I want to try and do here is bring my exposure up to 30 seconds and then I'm going to change my um, aperture 
and I'm going to uh, put the ISO as well on 50. And even with that now, with the light as well that's here, uh, I don't have um, enough control over the light. It's telling me that the image is being blown. So right now, what I can see, the maximum that I can get at the moment is around five seconds. So I'll go with a five second shot. As the light will drop, I will increase the length of time as well that I'm exposing. And what that's going to do is give a lovely dreamy look into the image because the stacks are going to remain stagnant, but the water is going to be flowing around that as well, and it's going to give a lovely uh, shot. Okay, so um, the light has gone there now and I think I got some nice shots there and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to tune into just one of the stacks that are below me here and that's the stack that has the arch in it and I'm going to try and isolate that out and right now I'm able to get a 20 second exposure. So what that will do, it will give me an ethereal effect with the water um, flowing through um, and the waves crashing just below it as well and I'm composing the shot so that I'm just getting this stack. It's quite difficult um, because there's a stack right next to it and then there's the um, cliff face as well that's right next to that as well also. But um, what I'm aiming to try and do here is get a nice shot. It does look as actually it's going to be a nice shot. Have a quick look at it here. Yes, that is nice. There's a, a nice bit of detail as well um, in the clouds that are there. And I do think this is going to be a nice shot. So um, I'm going to change now again in a moment. I'm going to go further over to the left hand side here to get a bit more of this headland that's on my right hand side. But another shot, uh, a nice shot I do believe. And um, I'll crack on now again here before all the light will go because the sun is just about to go below the horizon I would think. But yeah, for now, uh, I'll check back in again in a moment. Okay, so final spot here now for my last shot of the day. And I've come to uh, left hand side of the uh, cliff face to try and get more of the headland that you see here uh, in the distance with a small bit of the sky as well in the remnants that's there of the uh, sunset. And um, what I'm doing now, because the light is actually after dropping, it is enabling me to get up to the 30 seconds that I wanted to get earlier without having to add any little stopper or anything like that. No. My aperture is actually quite high at the moment, it's up at 18. It's not the most ideal because it could potentially give a softness to the image. Ideally, I want to be at uh, f11, but um, I'll continue on here. I'll stay here, I think, for maybe another 15 or 20 minutes, and maybe I should get a couple of nice shots. But for now, anyway, um, that's it for another episode of my photography vlog. I really do hope you enjoyed uh, exploring the beautiful stacks that are here in the Hovel Cove on the coast of Cork and um, as always if it's your first time on the channel do hit that subscribe button and the little bell give me a like give me a comment let me know what you liked about the episode what images were your favorite from the different uh, compositions that I would have done or any of the tips that I would have given as well if they've helped you in your own photography journey so um, from the Hovel Cove on the coast of Cork I'll sign out thanks very much and schlange